Welcome to episode 31. Damn, 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. Um, so, what we're going to really talk about is should everyone start trading now and why? Um, I think this is a great time to trade because we have a lot of volatility in the market. So what yes, you and I do. can understand to somebody that has no idea what Forex is and you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? So is it a good time to learn? Absolutely. If yeah. you know nothing about it, mm -hmm. it's a good time to learn because you get to see something that we haven't seen before. Yeah. Right. And this is a great time to trade. Absolutely. Just don't be one of those people that I don't know what I'm doing and I'm just going to hop into the markets. Yeah. You know, I mean, you don't want to do that anyway. Yeah. But this thing is going to rob you even quicker if that's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, don't try and think you're going to make the million overnight now because that's definitely not going to happen. It'll rob you before mm -hmm. that, you know, before you even make a dollar. Yeah. So it's very crucial to pay attention to everything that's going on, but take it with a grain of salt that you're not going to be trading. Just sit back and understand what's going on in the mm -hmm. economy. I, I feel like not just because people are like losing their jobs and and this is the most perfect time to trade, but this is actually the most perfect time to actually know what your economy is doing. Like, Facts. You know, like the information that we're intaking not just because of the media outlets just just saying the same bullshit on repeat because they're getting paid to do so like mm -hmm. you know they're the ones that still have a validated job to still keep pushing um the news and you know controlling people's fear and that has been very successful like you know what people are really uh, lacking on the education it's like instead of just listening to what it's what everything that you're taking from it but Try to find out why are they seeing it, you know, because mm -hmm. there's always been some kind of message for every every media outlet that has just been producing that's out there. So, yes, um, it's the most perfect time to trade. Um, no, this is not Q and A. Um, <clears throat> most perfect time to trade, but it's also the perfect time to be educated on that. One, this is you know a great recession proof, which we're not in a recession yet, but um, great to not have so so much knowledge behind it you don't need to have a degree you know this is something that you could actually still do and still try to figure out what what uh what else that you want to do in your life outside of your work like mm -hmm. you know so like this is the time that everyone needs to learn how to be creative um and not just you know oh let me get an xbox or a ps4 to to, to kick back and kill time you know, we, that's four to six weeks, even possibly longer. That's still a long time for you to just be playing someone else's, you know, um, product that they're still profiting off you. You know, you want to be, you know, the man in charge of actually having your money make working for you. Like, you know, stop spending all your money on necessary stuff because like four to six weeks, even more, that's still a long time. And that's enough time for you to, to get some type of revenue and income. Like, you know, so which everything is on the internet. Like we have the free knowledge and it's all game. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, so this is a time to fully utilize, you know, using your resources to your best way as possible. Like, you know, so. The, the, the thing for me is like, everybody wants a safety net, right? Nobody wants to act. So there's a couple of things that's like, that it really stands out to me with this, with just Forex in general where it's it's showing me that it's extremely extremely powerful yeah so just touching on the fact of the recession proof side right so we're heading into it. we're already in a horrible economic state mm -hmm. that we're in right now so everybody wants a safety net yeah well nobody's gonna have that safety net mm -hmm. if you don't trade this even the stock markets aren't a safety net nope. anymore right but you can make money on both ends of the the spectrum with forex and make it very fairly quickly so if you can do that, you're going to have your safety net to where you can be one of those financially surviving individuals within this horrible market where there's 6 million people filing unemployment claims right now, mm -hmm. yet you can sit at home and then just kick your feet up and just kind of just let this whole thing pass, right? Yeah. The other thing is the economic side. So I don't know how many people in this world or people that I've even talked to that are like, I wonder why they're doing this. I wonder why they're doing that. I wonder why. I wonder why, right? Mm -hmm. You all, everybody wants to know that underlying reason, right? Yeah. 
if you can actually put the puzzle pieces together with the economic state that we're in and why you'll get the answers that you really want to look for Mm -hmm. as far as what's happening with our country. Don't ask, go look for the knowledge. And you know what? Forex led me to that knowledge Mm -hmm. because I have to understand what's going on with the economy to understand what's going to go on with the charts. Right? So one thing leads to another and boom, now I can sit here and I can say, you know what? I may have become a conspiracy theorist overnight. Mm -hmm. And the only reason why they call people conspiracy theorists is because they may understand something that, the masses don't understand. So there's a label for them. So people will look at them crazy. Yeah. Look at me crazy. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Because when it comes down to it, I can say, I told you so Mm -hmm. when something goes sideways. Oh, I didn't know this was going to happen. Yeah. Well, I did, you know? So Mm -hmm. it's like, you're not necessarily going to be predicting anything, but you can just watch things come to fruition within time. Mm -hmm. And then at that point, like we were talking about even beforehand, it's about becoming prepared. Yeah. You know, be prepared for what could be happening so then this way you're not left in the dark and in the dust. Yep. That's the worst part, you know? And then it's like, well, what could I have done to change the outcome of this? Um, literally, it could have been as easy as trading Forex. Mm-hmm. And that's what it really comes down to. Like, you know, like I know a lot of people, you know, like especially, you know, the ones that follow us, you know, Trading Forex, Trading Forex, you know, you guys been seeing it all year long. You guys haven't been taking no action. You know, you guys ain't as, you know, what if this could actually benefit me? Like, you know, you not asking questions that could benefit your life to determine if this skill set is for you or not. You know, you're, you're still leaving an opportunity open. And, and if you're not taking full advantage on it and just keep watching, keep watching. And then when when shit hits the, the fan mm-hmm. and, the, and the current situation they're currently in, now you want to open your eyes. Like it, it's like trying to, you know, reteach everyone that you should take opportunities when it's being presented instead of waiting because you need it now. Like, you know, like. You don't want to be that type of person that says, oh, I need it now because of this. Mm-hmm. You you want to say that you need it because I find value behind it and this could possibly, you know, be something that I could add on to what I'm currently doing. And I don't have to worry in any case of scenarios like this. Like, like I don't know how many talks that we probably had about this. Like, you know, just like down the road, like, yo, look, we might actually hit a recession, you know. We just don't know when, you know, but when the time comes, like, that's the time that like, you know everything's gonna explode. Mm-hmm. So the f- people that actually are already involved in trading, we're, we're already winning, you know, because now we're the demand and everyone over here is becoming the supply. Like you know, like you guys are gonna be coming to us. Like mm-hmm. you know, you guys are gonna be want to seek that information to be like, oh, this could actually work. You know, I have all the time in the world. You can't go outside. You know, you can't buy anything outside unless you wanna eat out every single day and spend all that unnecessary money you're, you're helping that company stay alive mm-hmm. but like overall like this is where you could actually choose that if you want to eat healthy there's still healthy foods out there every time i go to the grocery store most of the healthy foods are always packed but then you see all the other stuff it's just like oh damn like everyone's just munching in you you got to choose your finances and what is going to benefit you mm-hmm. like so and that's what it really comes down to it's just choosing the right the right avenue on how you want to put yourself in a better situation well and a little plug here I'll, i'm mm-hmm. gonna i'm gonna plug blue cap here a little mm-hmm. bit all right go right? ahead so when you when you hit our community i don't think that there's anybody within our community that unless you don't pay attention to the chats within our yep. discord community you shouldn't you should know what's going on in the economy yeah i don't know what other services are out there focus so much as like specifically like let's say i do with fundamentals i'm always in there talking about fundamentals Mm -hmm. you're always in there talking about fundamentals right we stay up on the news yeah so i can at least say that for those that are with us now they're going to be more prepared than the people that haven't been with us or that are just signing up today or even Mm -hmm. tomorrow or the ones that are sitting on the fence if you're sitting on the fence and you want to know at least what's going on in the economy yeah sign up like that's fine and i don't want to sound like i'm selling anything here Mm -hmm. but i like we stay up on this fucking fly. <laughs> um, we stay up on this a lot more than what I see within any advertisements on IG or anything like that from mm. other services. So I think that's a huge benefit for for Blue Capital. If you if you want to take it slow and learn this, learn the 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 craft, yeah. learn the way to do it. 
but also you're going to benefit in multiple ways because I'm I'm going to be on the news. You're going to be on the news as far as you know where we see things going because the fundamental aspect mm-hmm. has become such a big portion of forex trading these days. Yeah, we were talking about it two months ago. Mm-hmm. That okay, so we see the 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 indice pairs, those pairs are moving because there's a lot of news going on. So we had talked about you know the just that part of it becoming more of an emotional take. Mm-hmm. Now it's almost like into the actual Forex pair market because of everything going on. Yeah. Fundamentals are actually pushing pairs, mm-hmm. you know? So it's like, it's better to stay up on the fundamentals than not to. Yeah. And just rely on, you know, highs, lows of market structure. Market structure is going to tell you where it's going, mm-hmm. but the news is going to push it. Right. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that, that's kind of where I see value within blue capital overall is because we focus on so much, mm-hmm. you know, and and I can at least say that, okay, you may have blown your account. You may have failed and lost your money within that, but at least you're prepared for what the next stage is. Yeah. You know, so I don't know. It's, it's, it's crazy. The, the, the situation that we're in now, like I've only been in, in Forex for <clears throat> going on two years now mm-hmm. and I've seen it go from straight technicals to basically straight fundamentals, mm-hmm. you know? So it is it's crazy i just i would encourage everybody to just open your eyes pay yeah. attention to it yeah most well, definitely you know especially when when you know the two with technicals and the fundamentals like you know it becomes very dangerous like mm-hmm. you know when you just all you know what technicals and you don't know what's happening in the economy like you know and then that's when you really are kind of like losing in a way because like you don't know what's going on in our own economy you know so um unless you're sleeping on the rock like you know but uh, we've seen some countless moves. Sometimes it just did not respect technicals. Like, you know, it was just straight fundamentals of how it was just fueling, you know, when you have a lot of investors pulling in and, and trying to invest, you know, and, you know, seeing what the economy, you know, they're looking at, you know, the, the main person, you know, the main person has a huge capital in hedge funds and they have all their capital and they're following what he's doing. So it's all about, like, you know, follow the leader and seeing who's really going to be, you know, buying when it comes to that low or if it's going to be selling when it's coming to that high. So like, um, it's very crucial to learn the both aspects of it. But, um, but yeah, like I said, like, you know, you definitely learn a lot of the fundamentals and technical side when it comes to blue cap and knowing that you, you're understanding, you're paying attention to more of what's happening in our economy. Let me ask you something. Cause mm-hmm. I've, I've had this, this conversation within my household for the past couple of days. When the vaccine comes out, are you going to take that vaccine? No. Me either. No. In my opinion, I think... In my opinion, I think they already know. Like, I think pretty much people could wait 14, even 15 days, well, well, two weeks for you to be cured, whatever, without taking a vaccine that you're probably not even familiar with. Um, and I was reading into it even, even more about it as well, too. So it's kind of like, in a way, like you're going to be microchipped um for the whole you know cell phone 5g towers um and just seeing what it does like i i think sometimes like i always feel it um kind of like a radiation like you know if it's just like if if i'm on my phone way too long or if i'm like outside like i'll feel some type of buzzing on like on the left side of my head but like and it just it's just very surprising you know for the person that said that we weren't ready for a pandemic is the number one source of talking about the whole vaccine, you know, mm-hmm. like, you know, especially having a needle being injected into you. Uh, it is a typical, you know, microchip. And then with all these, you know, 5G towers, like who knows what, even the people that are co uh, workers are even developing symptoms. And it's just like, no, I, I would not take the vaccine because I, I want to know what the hell is inside. Like, honestly, like, you know, first we already got misled about this whole coronavirus as well. And now we're going to accept you guys for taking an injection that we were in, we don't know what the hell is inside. You know, they, they might say, oh, it's the cure. Like, well, we at least know. So like with the with the flu, with the, the or flu it vaccine. might continue this whole coronavirus fear. Exactly. It could. So it could. Um, in fact, it could continue the whole pandemic itself overall yeah. because what like is we could happening? Just, we could probably be experiencing either the second or even third wave of it. Uh-huh. Because we, we we know when we take the flu vaccine, the flu shot every year, everybody's like, oh, why do your flu shots? It's yeah. free, it's free, it's free. 
you're literally getting injected with the flu. It's a, it's a s- smaller case of it. Yeah. But it's so your body can build up the immunity to beat the flu before the flu actually gets you outside of the vaccine, right? Mm-hmm. So the only thing I could think of, they're, they're going to come up with a COVID uh, vaccine. It's going to contain a small amount of the actual uh, virus. Mm-hmm. So your body can build up the immunity towards it. I don't care. I'm not taking that shit at all. If mm-hmm. I get it, I'm going to get it by choice or chance. And that's just going to happen because I'm in contact with somebody that has it. So as long as I practice my social distancing, I should be perfectly fine. Um, but at the same time, I think that that's just, a, like you said, a way to actually continue it going. Yeah, because at the end of the day, it's, it's population control. Because it, it survives better in the colder time frames, right? Yeah. So in your falls and your winters. Mm-hmm. We don't have a vaccine yet. So guess when this vaccine is probably going to be released? Yeah. October, November, right? Mm-hmm. Well, perfect time around fall season. Perfect time for it to thrive again. Yeah, and then th- right? don't we have the election around that time as well? November. Yep. Yeah. So to eliminate less people to vote. Well, we yeah. could get into the voting side yeah. of a whole different topic because yeah, I think voting really, is a bunch of really bullshit. really spicy. I, yeah, I think voting, and I'll say this, I don't care who has anything against it, mm-hmm. voting is a bunch of bullshit. Your vote does not count for anything. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, my mom used to tell me you should vote. I'm like, look, if I know you, the bigger picture to this. Like, Yeah, if you can understand the, the way that the delegates work, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. But that's a whole different story. Yeah, anyway, we could save that for the next episode. I would, I would even go as far as this, and this is the main topic that has been kind of going on in my house because it's, it's funny. I have my my mother mm-hmm. who I take care of that lives mm-hmm. with me, right? She keeps pushing me to fill out the census. Yeah, and I tell her, no, I am not filling out the census. Why? They're gonna come to your house. They're gonna find nope. you two hundred fifty thousand. No, nope. I don't care. Because if the, if if the government wants to know more about me, mm-hmm. guess what? They've got they my social interview. security. They've got my my address. They've got everything, right? They have everything that they need to know about mm-hmm. me. I don't need to provide them with anything extra. Yeah. So I I'll say this fr- freely. I don't care. Whenever I had jury duty notices, mm-hmm. I threw those in the trash. I have. I got, used to always get jury duty notice. And then they'll always cancel. So, and then I'm like, oh, great. Like, you know, like, I mean, I wasn't even planning on going either. Like, and I, I have, was, I have yet yeah. to, to have any encounters with yeah. anything negative with that. Yeah. I don't get any notifications anymore, mm-hmm. nor do I get any notifications to vote and register to vote. So I will never complain about the president that we have in office because I don't vote. Mm-hmm. I may, I may say, hey, you know, he's got bad views on this and mm-hmm. positive views on this, but I'll never be like, eh, well, you know, we should have voted the other guy. Yeah. You won't hear me say that because whoever is going to be the one representing us is going to be an asshole, period. Mm-hmm. Right. But it's just that providing extra information yeah. that I'm like, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. I'm st- I, I want to stay under the radar as much as possible yeah. when it comes to that stuff, because they... Uh, Whatever you need to know about me, you know my blood type. Mm-hmm. Nobody knows my blood type outside of the government, my hospital records, and myself. Yep. So you know what? If you know that, then guess what? You've got enough information on me already. Mm-hmm. You don't need me to provide anything extra. Yeah. So, and I, I haven't even looked at it yet, but I, there's supposed to be like two or three new questions that are on there. Mm-hmm. Surprising that it's on there now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't it, it doesn't surprise me. But it's just a, the matter of being able to provide all probably, that extra info. It's just, probably, it's just like a, a tactic just to, to make you feel like your vote is important. Like, you know, like the more questions they ask you, they're like, oh, okay, my, my vote is going to be considered as the millions that are voting. So, But, like, I, I really – I never took the voting seriously no matter who was running for president because I know – I think some – like the, the amount of knowledge that people do know when it comes to the voting that – president and it's just only a puppet um to the bigger things but like that's just another that's a different mm-hmm. avenue that we're going to focus on for the next episode so, absolutely um, my only point in bringing that stuff up is because i want people to understand what they mean to the country mm-hmm. and what the country should really mean to them yeah. like 
I don't. I wouldn't mind fighting for this country. Don't get me wrong. I'm never gonna join the military. I'll yeah. be that first one. Kudos to whoever does. Mm-hmm. I appreciate you for everything that you do. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, there's a lot of griminess that goes on beneath the surface. Yeah. And when you look at that stuff and you start figuring out, all right, I'm seeing a bigger picture on this. Mm-hmm. Then you start understanding that there's really no care for you as a human being. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're just a number. Yeah. If we're just a number in an employment standpoint where as a job, damn fly, yeah. <laughs> where, you know, when you come to a job, mm-hmm. you have an employee ID number. Yeah. So you're literally just a number within their system, right? Mm-hmm. They don't care about whatever well-being you have or how, how bad you need that job. Yeah. If you get fired, you get fired. They're going to find somebody else to fill that seat in mm-hmm. three days, right? So all you are is just a number. Guess what we are as a whole in the masses to the government itself just a damn number yep so i don't know my view i would definitely say you know i i have no ill will or you know i don't i don't point fingers i don't say anything you know in the sense of out of context to to offend anybody but if you have different views by all means comment on the youtube page you know dm me i love to have the conversations with it because if there's something that I'm missing, I love to be educated on it. Mm-hmm. But also if there's something that I could provide for somebody to think a different way, maybe to protect themselves in the long run. Yeah. Hey, by all means, I'm also glad to do that as well. Mm-hmm. So it's crazy. I never really, really how like this just comes full circle. I never really paid attention to this up until the past two years. Mm-hmm. I would see the news, but I would kind of, you know, give the news a 50, 50 benefit of the doubt. Like, Maybe some of it's new. They're not giving us everything, but they're giving us some. Now, news is a bunch of bullshit. Mm -hmm. News is a bunch of bullshit. The only news that I really pay attention to and put all my focus on, Sports Center. (laughs) Sports Center. Yep. Even though they are owned by Disney, but. Yeah, but there's yeah. no reason to lie about somebody signing a massive contract or getting traded in a massive deal. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. So. I like seeing the blockbuster trades. Mm-hmm. You know, I like seeing the Lakers about to win a championship. You know, I like to see that stuff. And I'll put more faith into that than I will the regular, regular news. It distracts yeah. me from the bullshit, for one. And two, there's nothing to lie about that stuff. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So I guess that wraps up the episode for 31. Um, reason why you should be um, getting yourself involved in trading with this whole pandemic that we're dealing with so hopefully you guys took some great insight um yeah if you guys have any you know questions yeah just drop it on the comment section um on the video we'll have you know our contact information down below where you guys can reach us at um yeah so you have anything else to say just everybody practice your social distancing get yourself well yeah, stay safe. Just stay too. inside. Stay it's, healthy. It's not worth it going to see a person because it's all going to be over in in a period of time. So yeah, yeah, and that's it. Just I, I just hope everybody stays healthy. Yeah.